hey, I wanted to do a couple videos of me talking rather than playing uh, about a couple concepts. The first concept I'm going to talk about is blisters. So it's okay to have blisters. I'm going to show you some of mine. I have one right here on like, you can see like the ridge of my hand, and I have one up here on my fingertip. This is from Planet Conga. So even when you're going to be playing with sticks, you know, a lot of people, their grip will be wrong. If you hold it like this and real tight, you're going to get blisters in places you don't want blisters. I'm going to show you. You can have blisters over here if you're playing on a drum. Blisters up here are okay. Like, you're going to have blisters in different areas, and you're going to see where you rub your hand, you know, because everyone's going to hold the stick differently. This is just where I hold the stick, so I know where my blisters are going to be. Um, I originally got them right here. I got them, I had like more of a French grip when I very first started. So it's like right here. And all this skin is toughened up because of that. And man, when I first started playing, I would get a blister and then it would hurt because it would break open. And you know, that of course hurts because you know, the stick's just rubbing it. But then if you keep playing on it, you'll get a blister on top of a blister. And <laughs> it's just terrible. But that's what you got to do if you want your hands to toughen up. And you do. And once your hands toughen up, you're good. But it takes a while. It takes a long while. I mean, I've been playing for years. And I'm, I am I got two right now. So I got a long way of blistering to go myself. But that's just what you have to do if you want your hands to actually toughen up. And you want your hands to be in the condition it takes to be a drummer.